right and wrong way to bump the volleyball. And if you bump the ball wrong, you could break your fingers. According to the US National Library of Medicine, 44% of injuries are just from the fingers in volleyball. So the wrong way of bumping the volleyball is when you do this. This will put a bunch of pressure on your fingers when the ball will come down to hit your hand. This can cause a break. So there are luckily two ways to properly bump a volleyball. The first one, you're gonna take your fist, put a thumbs up. Then the second, you're gonna put your palm against your knuckles and then close that. And then you're gonna have two thumbs up and then you're gonna put your hands down. So this is the first one. This is personally my favorite way to do it. It's just comfortable. But the second one, you can put your hand down like this. Then you're gonna take your other hand, put it under, and then you're gonna put your thumbs to the top. Ooh. This one, I've never actually seen anyone play like that, so most people just do this. But that is how the two ways you can properly bump the volleyball. So bumping means when the volleyball comes down, you're gonna just lightly bump like that. Next, volleyball is all about control. Control comes from your legs and arms in volleyball. According to an article about the correlation between leg arm muscle power in volleyball players, leg and arm muscle power are very important for volleyball players, especially for the setter. Since leg muscle has the main role in doing an optimal jump, and arm muscle activity contributes in hitting the ball. So the proper stance when waiting for the server to serve the ball over the net, you're gonna squat down low, you're gonna get down, and you're gonna put your hands like this. If the server happens to come your way, you're gonna lightly, you're not swinging your arms over your head or crazy, or else the ball will go flying where you do not want it to go. So when you bump the ball, you're just gonna lightly kind of push your hands up like that. So it will just lightly go up. If you have a good server on your team, normally they can hit a pretty powerful serve. So there's two ways to serve. There's the first one and the other way to serve. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your volleyball, you're gonna put it in your hand like this, you're gonna have one leg out, and also in volleyball when you're serving, your foot is pointed to where you want the ball to go. So you're gonna put your hand out like this, and then you're gonna take one, two, swing, like that. The second one is a lot harder to learn. Most people don't learn this till high school level in volleyball, but it's called an overhand serve. You're gonna throw the ball up, take a step, and then you're swinging your arm down. When serving this one, the overhand serve gets you a lot more power. And that's why it's more preferred in high school level and college level. Volleyball. So the final thing, well, one of the final things in volleyball is spiking. Spiking is a really good move to do when you want the most power to get the ball over the net. According to the Olympics, Paula Iganu currently holds the women's world record for spike speed of 70.3 miles per hour. And spiking is when you have your hand tight like this and you just hit the ball as hard as you can over the net. This normally gets the other team some points if they do it right. And does anyone want to come up and try to bump the ball? <laughs> 